So today I'm deciding to step out of my comfort zone and make a YouTube channel. We are going to start off by using my concealer in the shade Light and just put that all over my eyelid. And yeah. And then I go and use my Beauty Blender and just blend it into my eyes. So we're going to start off by going into my James Charles Morphe palette and using the shade Canvas and just blend it all over your eyelid. And then we're going to go in and use the shade Be In Tune and just put it all over your crease. Of whichever eye you want to use and in my case I used my right eye and then we'll be going in with that orange and red which are the shades 518 for the orange and red you're kidding and with that orange which is 518 I'm just putting on my outer corner and blending it And now we'll be going in with that red, which is You're Kidding Me, and putting it in the inner corner of my crease and blending it out as well. And then I'll be going back in with that yellow shade and putting it in the middle of the red and orange just to fix it up a little bit you know <laughs> we'll be going in with that green the blue and the purple shades which the green is called social blade and daddy blue playground and cola and the purple is escape and single and we'll be doing the same steps as we did in the as we did on the other eye except with those three colors. And don't forget to make sure to blend those colors because the more you blend, the better it'll come out looking. And what I'm doing here is just adding that purple into the outer corner of my crease and blending it out as well. And here I'm adding that blue into the outer or inner corner of my crease and blending it out as well. Some in this makeup look, you'll be doing a lot of blending, so. <laughs> and now I'll just be adding a little more of that green into the middle of those two colors and blending them out and getting rid of the harsh lines. And here I realized I needed to add a little more orange to the crease and blend some more on that red. <laughs> And now I'm just sweeping away some of the excess eyeshadow and going back in with my concealer and putting it on the inner of my eyelid.
And now I'll just be patting it in using my finger so we can put a shimmery shade in there. And here I decided to go in with my concealer again and do the under parts of my eyes. And now I'm going back in with my beauty blender and blending out my concealer. And now we'll be going in with this shade, Ring Light, and putting that all over the inner corner where we just got done putting that concealer. I'll be going in with my Kiss Magnetic Lashes and Liquid Liner and doing a wing liner with this look. I hate how long it takes me to do eyeliner like this because my hands are so shaky that it's hard for me to do a straight line. As y'all can tell, it took me a minute to do this. <laughs> These are the lashes I'm using. I'm not too sure what, which ones they are, but they're the more dramatic ones. They've got two different ones, or at least the ones that I saw. There was two different ones. I got the more dramatic ones. After putting this eyelash on, it wanted to give me some trouble. I had a hard time getting it on. And now I am going in with my mascara, which is the Rimmel London Scandal Eye Recto Glam and putting a coat on my lashes. We are going in with my foundation, which is Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the shade Light Medium. And we are 
just now blending it all over my face. And to set that all in place, we'll be using the highlighting shade out of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, Dulce de Leche. And just blending that all over my face. And here we will be using that same palette and using the contouring side and putting it on my cheekbones and contouring my forehead, nose, and all that other good stuff. And here we'll be going in with some blush to add some color into that face and we'll be using CoverGirl Classic Color number 540 Rose Silk. And as you could tell you saw my fiance walk in and me blowing out vapes. Oh, yes, I vape. And now we'll be going in with my highlighter, which is the Ofrax Talia Moore highlighter in the shade Covent Garden. And we'll just be highlighting the areas that need it, which are my upper cheekbones, nose, and eyebrows and lip area. And now I'll be going in with my pencil eyeliner, which is the Rumiel London Scandal Eyes 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeliner and going in and just filling in my water lines, my upper and lower water lines. And now here I'll be going in to that same palette using those same colors, just doing opposite eyes and doing my waterline. And now I'll go in with the orange shade, the red shade, and that yellow shade and do the other eye. And now I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and put some on my lower lashes. Mm -hmm. 
and now I will be going in with my eyebrow brush and combing them out and going in and filling them with my elf brow gel in the shade natural brown. And now I will be going in with my makeup wipes, which I use the Equate Beauty ones, the rose water ones, and wiping off the excess foundation on my lips. And to complete this look, I just go in with my baby lips Dr. Rescue in the shade Coral Crave and fill them in a little bit. I don't normally do too much lipstick, but there's the complete look. <laughs> 